And for you guys that like to bow hunt, man, do we have the place to bow hunt. Look at this stuff out here. We can get behind some of this brush on a hog trail and you are gonna shoot you a hog. As long as you know how to use your bow, you're gonna get something and go home with a hog. This We're down here on the edge of the honey hole and we've got sloughs down here. We've got hog trails. We have all kinds of cover down here. The vast majority of my bow hunters get their meat when they come out here and they bow hunt. You guys good? Very, very, very good. good. Outstanding. Gosh, this is probably a 250 pound boar. Uh, a lot of Russian. That thing had a, oh, he's got some big teeth on him too. A little bloody for the camera here. Uh, we've got some really big teeth on this hog that we shot down in the honey hole. Was he by himself? He was by himself. By himself. Video. Well, these are the kind of hogs that generally run alone. And uh, that's why I always ask, did, was he by himself or was he with the, the others? The bigger they are, the meaner they are, and they, they like uh, to be secluded. So, uh, do you recommend a honey hole? Yes, I do. All right, good, guy, good job, guys. Find a brush pile like this right here on the edge of a hog trail, and we'll camo it down, and the hogs will literally get five feet from you. And once again, the honey hole produced two good boars. Oh, about a hundred and... 10 pounds maybe and father and daughter hunt why don't you tell us what happened all right knock some arrows let it fly and kill some hogs and how old are you 12. 12 year old and put down a good boar with their bow and it's hard to miss at five feet even though i've seen some guys miss at five feet you don't want to admit to that ranch we got two bow hunters here husband and wife team and um you got two Two little piglets down. How was it? It's exciting here at this ranch. You uh, you don't have the, if you get the opportunity to go pig hunting, you need to come here. Uh, they got plenty of stock, plenty of food, great accommodations, and uh, the hog hunting is nonstop. Especially the, the morning hunt is usually a pretty good one. So. How was it with these two pigs? Were they on the run when you shot them? Or? They were on the run, and I whistled, and they stopped, and I got an arrow into this little guy, and he ran about 100 yards, and we found him. This one, he pretty much dropped in his tracks. So the hog calling was working for you today? Actually, we didn't call. They, they've got them running because they got people walking, and they've got them on the move. So all you got to do is sit tight, and they'll come right to you. Great. Especially bow hunting. Any tips or tricks for people out there that uh, want to get into bow hunting? Well, she would be the one to ask on this. She's This is her first hog hunt. Well, mine too, but she it was really Did exciting. you have some fun a little bit? Oh, yeah. It's fun. It's like Miss K says, I Oh. This is better having him happy like this than dragging him to the mall and him being miserable and grouchy. And so I'm telling you, it's a good way to spend a 14th anniversary. Awesome. This is a place for bow hunting hogs right here.